Today we have Richard Friedman, managing partner at Sakenzia Ross Friedman Ferentz here to talk about his new endeavor, The Cannabis Report, a periodic newsletter whose purpose is to keep readers informed of changes and events transpiring with respect to companies involved in the cannabis industry. So let's go to Richard, managing editor of The Cannabis Report, to find out what you can hope to learn about the business of cannabis. We've put together a report about the emerging cannabis industry that's intended to provide information about issues surrounding public and private financing of companies to anyone interested in this space. The cannabis field's broad. It's not just growers and retailers. Beyond medical and healthcare issues, it covers a number of industries, from travel and tourism, to lighting, real estate, agriculture, technology, e-commerce, banking, and security. It's even spread to apps. That's how wide it got. Estimates of the industry size range up to $35 billion by 2020, which is larger than the NFL and on par with the current size of the news publishing industry. The cannabis debate and industry in the U.S. has been evolving over a number of years. However, recently we have seen an increased awareness and excitement. Unlike anything we've seen before, because as laws continue to change on a state-by-state -state basis, the need for supporting businesses and service has grown. This has led to new companies and people entering and a greater need for capital. Over the past year, many of us have attended financial conferences and seen a big increase in people that are interested in talking about it. It's a hot topic. CNBC and other news sources, even 2020, air many stories about the industry, almost nightly if you watch. And of course, online, there's numerous resources and information available. We're getting calls every day about new companies and opportunities looking to enter the space. Based on this surge of interest, we saw an opportunity and need to provide information to people about what is happening on a real-time basis. And we've put it all together in the form of the Cannabis Report, a report dedicated to the business of cannabis. We're looking forward to developing this further and putting out additional issues. We also welcome any feedback of, or interest that people may have on the report. You can email us with suggestions or you can be added to our mailing list at info at cannabisnyc.com. Thanks for this opportunity to share information about what we're doing at the Cannabis Report. If Richard piqued your interest and you want to learn more, have questions for the Cannabis Report, or want to subscribe to the newsletter, you can send an email to info at cannabisnyc.com.